Ah! Occasionally, the chain on your bike might end up looking like this. Two loops of chain that seemingly cancel each other out, but don't. Ah! However, it's not actually impossible to get them undone. Oh no, here is how to do it. Firstly, you need to take the back wheel out of your bike. And I'm guessing it probably is already out because that's how the problem starts. When you've got loads of chain flapping around. And then secondly, we need to turn the bike upside down. Now, ordinarily, I'd suggest you avoid turning your bike upside down at all costs. One of the reasons is because stuff like that is likely to happen. But in this instance, turning upside down is actually gonna help us fix it. Now, as I said, it looks like you should push these two loops together to cancel them out, but that doesn't work. What you actually need to do is to spread them out as far as possible. Because at this point, you might start to see what you need to do. Because the problem is simply that what is ordinarily the bottom part of your chain has got looped over the top part. So let me explain. You will see if we roll that out, that really that just lives on top of the derailleur. And then likewise, this front loop, you will see needs to go around your chain set. Like that. Did you get it? Okay, if not, here it is one more time. So we spread the knot out slightly because when it's further apart, it becomes clear what you need to do. So this back loop needs to go over the derailleur. You loop it up and over till it's resting on top. And then you'll see that the front needs to do the same again. So go around over the pedal and then hey presto. So now we've got it fixed, the question we should probably be asking ourselves is, how did it happen in the first place and how can we avoid it happening again? Well, the answer is kind of in how we managed to fix it, which is to say, your bike is upside down and the back wheel is off. Then the chain comes off the front chain ring and loops over the pedal and then gets dislodged at the back and loops over the back of the derailleur. So essentially, what should be the bottom of the chain gets looped over the top of the chain, and so it's kind of upside down. So how do we stop it happening again then? Well, I suppose the first thing would be to avoid turning your bike upside down. Now, it's not very good for your bike anyway, resting on the saddle, and then also the handlebars. So avoid that, and then the other time is to pay careful attention to what you're doing with the bike when the back wheel is off. So, for example, putting your bike in and out of your car maybe, or when packing your bike to fly. In those instances, what you can do is invest in a little device that bolts into the frame just there, and it keeps your chain under tension as if there is a back wheel in there. And that could be quite a good investment if you still can't get your head around what on earth I've just done. Now, if you are really struggling to get your head around this, there is a cheat alternative, and that is that you actually split your chain, take the loops out, and rejoin it. Now, if you need to know how to do that, we've got a video showing you just up there. Or to see a video about how to fix another slightly annoying but very common procedure, fixing a puncture, then we have a video just down there. You can get through to that. Before leaving, do make sure you subscribe to GCN. We have a maintenance video every Monday, and so if you keep watching them all, the chances are your bike will be completely perfect and something like that will never happen to you. Possibly. Just click on my uh, really grubby fingers if you want to do that. I probably should have done a better job of cleaning my chain before starting this video. Did you get it? Shall I do it again? That probably looks like something else, doesn't it? Maybe you could use some editing magic to uh, make that look a bit smoother. <laughs>